What's up internet, Pan Dragon Dan here and welcome to March Disney Villain Madness and welcome to round six and the last of the single matches. Now before we start I just want to say something to Morgan. I have to admit I'm impressed. I honestly didn't expect you to last this long. I thought my team was going to ram right through yours but I'll give you credit where credit's due. You've brought the ruckus and fought for your corner so in some ways you've gained my respect. In another more accurate way, you're going down! So anyway, for this final round, she sent forth Lady Tremaine from her group. Pfft, she must be getting really desperate if that's all she's got left. Well, the last guy I'm sending forth for the single matches is from the Pixar Posse. Lotso Hugging Bear, or Lotso for short. Get ready for this, Morgan, because Lotso's gonna leave Lady Tremaine barely alive. Get it? Because he's a bear and he's going to leave Lady Tremaine barely alive. Get it? <laughs> I'll just roll the damn slideshow. thought that such a cute and cuddly teddy bear could be such a conniving sadistic bastard. That's the case with Lotso from Toy Story 3. In many ways he's somewhat of an analogue to the governor from The Walking Dead. A seemingly welcome and kind old bear that loves to give hugs. When in fact he's actually a tyrant that runs Sunnyside daycare centre with an iron fist. Or a furry fist. The point is he treats it more like a prison than a daycare centre. When Andy's toys are given to Sunnyside, Lotso is introduced as the de facto leader of the toys there. Whilst he initially comes across as caring and kind, even aside from the Caterpillar Room as their new home, the toys soon realise something is up when they discover this place is where toddlers abuse and misuse toys. When Buzz Lightyear tries to appeal to Lotso, he has him deprogrammed, turning him against his friends and imprisoning them. But this isn't the only instance of Lotso being a complete bastard. He's known for imprisoning other toys and even going so far to have them thrown into the sandpit, his word for solitary, or even the garbage heap if they displease him. He set up an elaborate security system, so nothing escapes his eye, and he has an army of toys that follow his every beck and call. He's such an evil SOB that he's even willing to let Andy's toys die in the smelter at the end. Basically, he's a real nasty piece of work. But it wasn't always that way. We find out about Lotso's backstory from Chuckles, and once we discover it, we actually learn why he has such a morbid outlook on life. Lotso was at one time the favourite toy of Daisy, along with Big Baby and Chuckles. Treated well and looked after, Lotso felt loved. Until one day, he and the other toys were accidentally left behind during a trip. Lotso refused to give up and worked his way back to Daisy's, only to find out that he had been replaced. Disillusioned and heartbroken, Lotso snapped and forced the other toys to leave with him, even though it was only him that was replaced, until they found the daycare centre, which Lotso proceeded to take over. Seriously guys, is this just not one of the most tragic backstories of any character in a Disney film? It's really sad because had Lotso not been left behind that day, he'd probably still have been loved and appreciated. Then again, to quote the Joker from Batman, all it takes for a person to snap is one really bad day. Of course, one could argue that Lotso was utterly selfish for forcing Chuckles and Big Baby to follow him when they weren't replaced. I suppose it could be argued that Lotso, being the favourite toy of Daisy, felt they had a certain amount of entitlement and deserved better. And if he couldn't be happy, no one could. Lotso's story demonstrates the fickle nature of the life of a toy, and this is the cause for his nihilism. In his eyes, toys are just something that kids play with and discard when they no longer need them. But I also like to think this draws comparison with real life, such as the differences between love and possessions. We've all had our hearts broken at some point, and this screws us up in some way or another. In Lotso's case, it caused him to become twisted and evil. Lotso is kind of a tragic villain that you kind of feel sorry for, until he does something utterly evil. It's a shame because I kind of wanted Lotso to have some form of redemption rather than end up the way he did, but I guess he wouldn't be on this list if that happened. And like any true villain, his fate is ironic and poetic as he becomes a victim to the very dumpster that he believed toys went to. Lotso, proving that even the cutest characters can have their breaking point. Do something guys. I feel really sorry for Lotso. He wasn't a bad guy. He just had his heart broken. I know what it's like to have your heart broken. Oh Elsa, why 
Why didn't you respond to my fan mail? I just wanted to build a snowman with you. You didn't have to turn around and slam the door. <laughs> oh well. The cold shoulder never bothered me anyway. But seriously guys, let's see if we can get Lotso to win this round. As always, links to vote are in the description below. And be sure to follow my blog and Morgan's blog for more updates. The voting for this one will stay open until the 13th of March, when we will have our next Disney March Villain Madness battle. Okay, that's it for the single matches, but don't go anywhere, because next up we're bringing our tag teams into it. Stay tuned until then, because things are going to get real. Doubly real. Until then guys, peace out, see you in the next video.